Okay, so we spent the last couple of videos in this unit explaining rational producer behavior. And in today's video, I want to briefly introduce a key idea in this unit. This unit is under a section called market failures, which introduces the different situations where free markets fail. And this unit is titled market power. So market power seems to be an example of a market failure. But what is market power and why may it be considered a failure of the market? To simply explain market power, it is the ability of a firm to choose how much they're going to charge their consumers for their product. You can kind of think about it as price setting power, the question of to what extent is a firm able to change the price of the good they are selling. And at this point you might ask, Okay, so market power is the ability to set prices, but how does that work? Technically, can't all firms set whatever price they want? And assuming that market power does vary, what are the factors that influence it? And I'm going to be using an example to explain this. Imagine that firm A is selling orange juice. And in this hypothetical world, all orange juices are more or less the same. None are more tasty or fresh, it's exactly the same. So other orange juice firms B, C, and D all sell this orange juice, and they make up the suppliers of orange juice in this market. Now remember how all the juices were exactly the same? Imagine that firms B, C, and D were all selling their juices for $3 a bottle. Can firm A sell their juice for $5 a bottle just because they wanted to? Well, if they do, no one would buy from firm A, so it's not really a viable option. Firm A almost has no choice but to follow the other firms and sell their juice for $3. And this is an example that shows a firm that has little to no market power. Let's look at an alternative scenario where a firm has lots of market power. And I'm going to cite a very often used real life example. And these examples are nice to note for your final exams because IB really likes it when you include them in your response. So Microsoft is an example of a firm with lots of market power because it has a unique and valuable product. There aren't very many substitutes for it, and I guess less so now because we do have other options like Window, but especially before, you could either get it at Microsoft or not, right? So Microsoft was really able to choose to raise or lower its prices, setting it where they want because they know that regardless of whatever price, a lot of people would continue to purchase it. So. This is an example of a firm with lots of price setting power and therefore lots of market power. So that was just the idea of market power we introduced in this video. And it's just an idea, a concept that I hope you keep in mind as we learn about the different market structures listed here in the following videos.